We are so excited because it is Superfood Friday this week. We have our first ever Superfood Super Quiz, complete with our game show set Surprise and buzzers. Today, voice. nutrition and health expert <laughs> Joy stop. Bauer is here to put our nutrition knowledge to the test. All right, take Woo, it away, okay, Pat this Sajak. Is, this is going to be a lot of fun, and we're going to find out who the master of the morning meal is. Oh, Got okay. So this okay. is how it's going to work. I hope you guys are feeling competitive. Uh -huh. I am going to ask a series of questions, mm -hmm. and after each question, I'm going to give you three multiple choice answers. If you think you know the answer, press the buzzer, okay. and we're going to see if you're right. So okay. not, we don't have to wait for you to read all the answers. Yes, you want to wait for me to read all okay, the answers very quickly. Just okay. the rules. So, strategy. Here it goes. The first question. Which is the smartest breakfast to buy when you are out and about on the go? Is it A, an egg and cheese sandwich, B, bagel with cream cheese, or C, blueberry muffin? <laughs> Dylan? Egg and cheese sandwich. And you would be correct! <laughs> Why? The egg and protein. cheese sandwich is the only option that provides a substantial amount of protein, which is going to fuel your energy throughout the morning. Okay. The blueberry muffin and the bagel, a whole lot of carb mm -hmm. with fat. And if you want to make that egg and cheese sandwich a little bit healthier, what I would say is request, instead of a big fluffy white roll, a toasted English muffin oh. or whole grain bread, and try to slip in a few slices of tomato. Okay. Right. okay. That's good. That's Dylan good. has that one. That's a doable. Question number two. Which option will add the most fiber to a bowl of cereal? Is it A, chopped almonds, B, blackberries, C, sliced bananas? <laughs> Al? Uh, B, blackberries. Correct. Really? Wow. Well done, so sir. So all of these toppings are wonderful, but if you can imagine, blackberries, one cup provides eight grams of fiber. It's one of that. the best natural sources of fiber. Raspberries, too. Really? So if you're looking to move things along, As it were. I would say, I know. <laughs> you want to like, sprinkle on blackberries. Ooh. And it could be frozen and thawed <laughs> or fresh, because I know we're sort of yeah. getting out of the season yeah. right now. Mm. Okay. okay, so Dylan has one, Al has All one. Right, come on, Who's Chanel. We're not counting. Question number three. Which food will add heart-healthy omega-3 fats to your smoothies? <laughs> Greek yogurt, oh. blueberries, or flax <laughs> Well, she, she technically. Uh, okay, flexed. Chanel. That's fine. Omega-3 fats. I'm going to say flax seeds. And you would be correct. Yes. <laughs> so flax seeds, just like chia seeds, have these plant-based omega-3s. And omega-3s are great because they ease inflammation, they drive down triglyceride levels, and they promote heart health. And, oh. of course, you can get them, again, in salmon, everyone knows, sardines, flax seeds, chia seeds, and walnuts. I have a and question. We, yeah? Is there a way to put them in a smoothie so that your kids don't notice? Because I feel like my little guy goes... You know, and you can, like, taste it. Yeah, it's a little grainy. Yeah. So what I would say is with the flax seeds, and I'm glad you brought that up, because a lot of times you could buy them ground mm -hmm. like a powder, but a lot of times they'll come whole. You absolutely want to grind them. You can use a coffee grinder mm -hmm. because that's the only way that your body can absorb it all. And when they're very, very finely ground, they also can be disguised in a smoothie. But Got just it. start with a teaspoon, yeah. and I don't think that they'll they'll taste they'll it. Notice. And also, you want to store them in a sealed container in the fridge or freezer, yeah. oh. because that's what's going to keep them fresh. I put ground flax seeds into the next pancake. Or, uh, really? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. You can put them in muffins yeah. and oatmeal oh. and yogurt in all it. sorts of ways. Yeah. Okay, last question. The finer question. the powder, all right. the easier it is to disguise okay. it, Got and it. also the better for your body to absorb the good stuff. All right. okay. So the last question, here we go. All about toast. Which toast topper will provide the greatest amount of protein? Is it A, avocado, B, cottage cheese, or C, peanut butter? Ow. Is it Al? Uh, C, peanut butter. Oh, oh. wrong, Dylan. Avocado. B, cottage cheese. Cottage cheese Whoa. has it. Oh, all right, Dylan wins. Yeah. Cheese is having such a moment right now. It sort of has this resurgence. It's all of a sudden hip again. It is packed with protein. And the nice part about cottage cheese, too, when you put it on toast, you could take it in a sweet or a savory right. direction. Sweet, I add a little bit of fruit. Savory, I like to put um, it on top of some tomatoes with beans. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. And so we Dylan will be is right the winner. Back. He's the winner. Yeah.